Cool. Skynet is rolling. And let's get this party started. So I figured we'd just roll in the trainer. Um, kind of see how it goes. We'll play it from from uh from pre-flop down and uh do the usual, I believe. Six is usually guys gives you like five hands to to scroll through. Um so let's get the party started. Uh who should we kick off with? Let's go with Greg. Are you out there? Yep, I'm here. Cool. Um, are you calling this? And no. what does your calling range look like? Uh, what? Ace Queen. Vitamin P, baby. I know one second. Oh, oh. Yeah. Got him. Okay, thank you. Um. <laughs> Um, ace queen. So, I think. what's your worst ace? Worst offsuit ace? Uh, probably ace queen. Uh, uh, at fourteen, maybe ace jack, ace ten. Uh, ace jack, I think, is actually the worst. Um, my suited aces. Ace ten. Pairs. Um, I'm not really happy with any of them. Um, not except aces? for like, no, no, obviously aces. But uh, anything, anything, probably below. Um. Tens. Uh, actually, no. Everything. Sorry. Everything above a five, I'll call here with. Uh, so, like any of the really low pairs, probably not. Twos, threes, that sort of thing. Uh, what yeah. about offsuit pain? King queen. No, nah, he has he has too much king uh, king x in his range. King king queen suited, I would do. Um, what other suited? Not. Pain? Um, queen jack suited. I think at some frequency does. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I don't. Pairs? Um. Maybe the short. Um, yeah, 14 is like this is where I, I waver at the size at 14. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a decent amount of chips. So it sounds like fives plus, king uh, suited jacks plus, ace 10 suited plus, ace jack up. I get that right? Yeah. Yep. You got it. Uh, cool. Yeah. I don't think that's too, too far. Got it. The other problem is, is that we're facing a, a jam from an early position. Which should make us, which makes them tighter, which makes us tighter. I think your pairs are pretty on. I think it's fives plus. I'm wondering if it's like what I would do with like ace nine suited if it was close. Yeah, I guess your range is okay. Let's find out. Oh, shit. Um, Let's see how we did. Ace queen o, ace jack suited plus. Yeah, pretty close set abs. Larry calling all pairs. I'm pretty sure twos, threes. Yeah, look at this. So yeah, suited ace, suited aces, uh, a little further down. Okay. I'm surprised uh, that it's ace ten. You're damn close though. Oh, think we know. Yeah. Oh, that's that's weird. I don't know. I, I I know the solver says yes, but I'm probably in game. I don't think a lot of people are uh, jamming a lot uh, worse than king queen off. That is a lot of EV. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll do it. Now the jamming range. I mean, the jamming range is pretty tight and condensed too. That's... Actually, seems kind of fair. I think people are probably jamming a little wider. Like, I think people are just gonna instead of open like they should. A lot of people mm -hmm. just rip things like you know this stuff here. Yeah, big suited aces. Uh, East ten O is in there definitely more than it should be. King Queen O seems about right. Probably in there more than it should be. Um, interesting. Cool. Uh, defending? Uh, against us, yeah. Yeah. Walk. This is the uh, same spot. So <laughs> I picked it so that uh, it only shows us close spots. And that literally, as I say that, this hand comes up, which I don't know that mm. it's very close. I think a, I'm pretty sure this is a fold. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's close. Uh, I think it, yeah. <laughs> what about this one? Uh, I would call this. Yeah, Especially how deep we are. One gappers and, and two gappers are going to be pretty common calls. Yeah. And check one. These five hands are boring. You got off easy. Yeah, I just get to I just get to fold that. It's not even close. Not even close. All right, let's switch uh, it up. Okay. 
Uh, we went to uh, set apps. I think it's uh, it's for yeah, I think so. I prefer to call five three than four three. So it's always weird with this one. Uh, I still would call it any uh, which defend my my blind. <laughs> yeah, I, again, it costs a lot with these uh, connectors, and then one gappers and two gappers. This is kind of low. I'm pretty sure it calls now. Everything below five, it's that's fifty fifty. Everything below five, I, I I think Silver don't don't like these cards so, uh, <laughs> because they're just so low. You never get a high card, you know, a pair that wins. But yeah, look. So this one is the one that's mixing, and then one gappers. Uh, not as many two gappers. See, look, this is an awesome call. Check all check raise. Yeah, flop the nuts. Easy. I think I just called her. And try to raise. raise. But uh, let me think here. Raising, raising three, like third, 15. Yeah. We could probably get it done. Ooh. A little bit of raise, 50 50 again. Like, yeah, this is, we're a little deep where, like, if it goes check check on turn, we can't get them all in very easily. Oh, we do raise some there, Larry. Yeah, it's 50, 50, 60, 40. It's close. Relatively equally B. It's weird because now you, you will tend to to, to make the, your check raise on the, on the turn. And the, it's so obvious that you have something when you do it. Yeah, check raise on flop is much different than check raise on turn. Like check call, check raise turn is usually going to be super strong. Um, oh, there are checking, great yeah. things like, you know, I'm not sure if it does it here with this exact card, but a hand like King Ten of Diamonds would be like a check call, potentially check raise. It's a little weird with the ace. A lot of times you want an over card to the top card so you can make a pair that'll win also. Um, we could look at it, but like a hand like King Ten of Diamonds tends to be the check call, check raise block. So, um, let's see. I don't know if it does it on the ace side board. Check. King 10 suited, are you there? No, it's because of the ASI board. What if we do this? Nope, it's not there. All right, let me put it back real quick and then figure out if we have any bluff, check raise bluffs. Um, oh, so they didn't do it with King 10. They did it with like the not with the 4X. So like 7 4. Now you have a gut shot and a diamond draw. So the combo draw is there, just not King 10. King 10 must have some showdown value. I'm imagining. Um, check the aggressor. Check call, check raise. Are you doing it, setups? You turning your hand face up? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I go uh, 33. No choice. Uh, that's why I do it on flop uh, in real life. Just not to me. <laughs> yeah, doing Just it on flop to... is totally viable too. Like nothing wrong with doing it on the flop. Um, yeah. But I, right now, I'm um, raising 33, no choice with the diamond coming, uh, ace and queen. And now you can get some value uh, from uh, and in this range. Yeah, I agree. 100%. I think, um, I think one of the benefits of uh, over betting the turn or like check raising the turn here is that like you're getting a like ace x to probably call and continue, mm -hmm. um, especially if they have a diamond in their hand. Um, so yeah, I I mean that there's definitely some merit there. Uh, to that definitely and doing also the, turn. the pot now has got a good SPR, and mm -hmm. they can never check back river on you. It, it's weird, but uh, I feel like to induce a raise by just betting ten percent. Ten percent. <laughs> it's, you know what's funny? Um, I've talked about this a bunch. I don't know if I've done it in here, but um, this is a while back, a couple of years ago, uh, with the team toe guys again. There was a, we were talking about these blocker bets and 
Um, it was like the 10% blocker bet. And I asked, the, like a bunch of people were saying, yeah, fuck this bet. It's, you know, never start, raise this bet. And I took a poll and it was like 70% of the team was raising the little blocker bet with literally any two cards just because fuck this bet. And fuck you for your little disrespect, <laughs> you know, 10%. So it's weird how that 10% bet does sometimes induce madness. Um, and I want to induce it right there, but I feel like this guy would call anyway, but with the tree, the tree is so much a bad card for me just because it increased the chance that I have a straight in my hand and most he's going to have a queen a ace or maybe he misses straight. So I think the blocker bet just give him, him the confidence that uh, he can take value from him, from me. Uh, what's BSTI? Are you talking about Charlie Carroll there, Larry? Uh, that's small to induce. Oh, is that what it is? That's his. That's his favorite play. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a super explosive. He's a good fucking player. Every time he I is. see him, po I never see him post strategy though. He always posts. I don't know hippie shit. <laughs> it's Pick true. It he used to. I'm a fucking used... hippie, you know. But yeah, he's he's extra hippie. He was uh, flogging a poker coaching channel couple months ago, I guess maybe a year ago, and he was posting more educational stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he's damn good. Yeah, he's super that. exploited there. Oh, cool. Uh, said, are you betting the small? Is that what you're doing? Or are you doing? Yeah. God. I this wonder is where the solver, I can't control myself. The solver will do it, but I think I'm doing it uh, just to induce. This guy bet flop. Called the check raise on the turn. I'm like, I can't help myself. I have to jam. I, yeah. jam. I, I think Silver will jump. Uh, weirdly. Uh, yeah. You only have one size and it's all in. No. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we jam, does that hand ever fold? And then I'm wondering if in practice, do you guys ever fold a hand like A6? Yeah, I'm folding way too much. I think I'm folding. I think overfolding there is a great thing. Uh, for well, sure. Some, I mean, look, a six suited folding. It's if not somebody, even a, it's not even an exploit. It's actually a thing. I think if somebody checkers me the turn, I'm folding the turn right there with the the a six. <laughs> I don't know if you can when you pick up diamonds. You cannot. Yeah, like if you really didn't have a diamond, diamond, if that yeah. queen was like a spade or something, then sure. But right? I'm folding the river for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just never bluffed. It really is. It's just never bluffed. They never bluffed. It's so under bluffed. But you can even see that here in theory. Like a lot of this ace X is mix and fold. And there's a nice little chunk of it mix and fold. I mean, ace king. Look at this ace king. Fucking ace king clubs just folding. Wild. How many of you guys fold an ace king now? Oh, uh... um, yeah. I'm definitely folding ace king on that board. It's too wet. <laughs> Lots of, I mean, maybe out, maybe if I had the ace king, like the ace of diamonds, there, I'd probably, I might hold on. It's very unlikely, though. I wonder if, damn, I went too far. I wonder if you actually, this one of those spots where you don't want a diamond because you don't want to block their backdoor flush. Yeah, that's true. You don't want, yeah, that, that was the other part of it, too, is like when he jams and you have two diamonds in your hand, like you, like, you, they block all they're not bluffing, they're not bluffing with <laughs> blocking every bluff. You also have an ace in their hand in your hand which you which you really don't want um because you want your opponent to have ace x that's weaker um but the only problem is is that they probably don't just have yeah. something that's really good yeah it's like river check raises right like no matter what the board looks like you're like how can i possibly be beat here it's there whatever it is <laughs> you get check yeah. raised on the river it's fucking there So yeah, it's too disconnected. Yeah. Trying to find a good spot. What about this one? Setups. Oh, I think so over lesson that they see it was the bottom of the range of calling range from the solver, but in real life I'm folding this. Uh yeah, yeah. This is super. This well, is, I would like this, to uh, see the range of uh, a beard dog goes like, ooh, ooh, ooh. this one's closer, said. Oh, yeah, this one is a call. I think this is the call. Nice. All right, so we got good with 14 blinds in the big blind. 
Ooh. Ooh, this is this is disgustingly close, I think. Yeah, look at the EV difference between the call. I think it's Queen 10. And maybe Queen Jack. So pay. Ah, see, this was spots that I missed. Like I would never call here without Jack 10 suited. Yeah, Jack 10 suited is uh because you're unblocking would, the Apex. Yeah. I would get all of these and then like King 10 L. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because Hate of the it. minimum uh, defense frequency that uh, you call so wide. Yeah. And he's jamming relatively wide, too. Yeah, he has. I mean, look at his jamming range. Like, his strategy is just to rip practically everything. Yeah. You're ahead a lot of the time. <laughs> like, and yeah, when you jam, right? you're barely ahead a lot of the time. It's the problem. So, something that happened in the solver is that when he jam like this, he don't have the top, of, the top of his range. Flipping, 60-40, rushing, 60-40, 60-40. Oh, no, crush, rather, 60-40. Yeah, you're... You're, like, there's I mean, not, I mean, you're not doing great. I mean, yeah. Um... That's fair. 60 40. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so are you using a limping range from, it's actually 40, uh, from button here at all? Uh, I'm sorry. Am I using a limping range? Is what the question? Is? Yeah. Not really. No. I know I... Half-Flex been doing a lot of like limping on the button stuff in these spots. Um, I'm not well versed in enough to, to do it. So I, I pretty much have a no limping. Oh, well, I have a no limp first in strategy. Um, I'll certainly limp behind if there's limpers in front. Yeah. You know. But um, yeah, generally not. Uh I'll list up portions of his webinar on it. I haven't talked to him about it. Um limping the button, but it's usually things like like this hand might limp the button. Yeah. Right? Well, you're gonna be limping. You could also limp ace king suited, ace uh ace queen suited. God, uh man. stuff like that. Yeah, I know it's gross, right? Like Imagine getting called by five seven in that spot, and you're just you're just get dunked on by two uh, pair on the flop. Yeah, but even one pair when you have nothing, right? Like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> also, how do you build a pot when you limp? <laughs> That's the real well, question. If you're short enough, you don't have to worry about that, right? <laughs> sure. Uh, all right, setups. Let's do this one. I think it's uh, it's, uh, it's close. Uh, I think it's a fold. Hmm. Anybody call this one? This I one feels super call, close. But uh, it's close. Fucking I dumb. think he got a call. A high card again. Yeah, Larry Cole. I, I think it's a call. I'm, 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 I, I, I really don't know, but I think it's, it's, it's the bottom of the range. It, uh, I think it call. might be the very bottom. I I don't think it's a call because I think it's offsuit eights that call here. Really? Mm -hmm. No King 7 0? I don't think so. No. The fuck? Yes. All right. This is the bottom. The Pretty absolute. Possible. Interesting. Okay. Oh, look. Fucking any king. Wow. Any king. Okay. Most from low jack? Yeah. From low. It's the fact that we're 25 bigs, right? Like, if you go up. Oh. Look, even a 35. Pretty low. What about 40? I know it's like a big difference between. Not that big. Yeah. Well, look at this. Even at 50 bigs, 60 bigs, King 5 is starting to come out. 80 bigs. Can you change the 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 razor just for a second and just put it Which under way? the gun one? Oh, under the gun one. Oh yeah, that's gonna be much better. Yeah. Okay. That's what I. This is what I. This is what I was envisioning. I'll go in the other way. Yeah. King 6 0 becomes the bottom. All right, I'll just start defending from uh, six like a up. thirty-five king five zero thirty king four zero twenty-five yeah. all kings. It's crazy. All right, that. Ah, huh. we just went over this. <laughs> uh, all right, pick a new contestant here. Uh, Jacob, you out there with the mic? Yes, sir. I mean, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, good, good. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to unmute it for a second. Oh, no worries. Uh, uh, check call, here? check raise, check fold. Uh, 
think I'd, I'd probably call one. I mean, you get backdoor, launch backdoor straight. So, um, but what's this all going to do? You think this all is going to do something different? I think I think I'd just call it. Yeah. Um. Oh, no. This is an interesting one because I think I actually would never call like one, yeah, one over. either check raise or fold. We do have an over to the 10 and three to shade and three to flush. Man. My the voice in my head is saying check raise. Oh shit, I gotta take that. Hang on one second. I used to call this piece. Uh, just so, yeah. Uh, give me one sec, guys. I gotta take this. Hey, what's up? Sorry about that. That was the day job. Yeah, yeah. So uh just for me. Um I want to see what our check raising range is here. Uh, a lot of times it's gonna be I mean certainly 10x and then flush drops. Uh it felt like it was close to a uh check raise. It is. Uh I think we need the other. Do we have one of the suits? Yeah, I, we have a I, six of spades. It might be the king of spades. I think so. Yeah, you want the you want the higher end. Yeah, that's what it is. So, do you ever use the uh, the breakdown tab here when looking at check races? Sure. And then you can kind of. I find it interesting because you can kind of see where the lower sets two pair gangster check races are combo draw. So open and straight flush draw, open and straight flush draw, gutter over and flush draw. So definitely the flushes, the flush draw. We knew that one. <clears throat> and then this king six would have been good, um, except it just needs to be the king of spades and not the six of spades. You'll see that a lot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But probably, um, well, I know, I know it's full. But now that I saw it, what I was thinking. A lot of times, a solver wants to. You know, you got one over, and then, like I said, get a double back door. So I mean, yeah, yeah, he's gonna make sure. Well, not that six eye flush isn't gonna be that good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's gonna make sure you're drawn to to good yeah, ends. Exactly. Oh damn, this shit got weird. Uh, all right, so are we leading this card? I think we broke the solver, but in general, leading this card. Uh, I'm I'm leading this card. I'm leading for like half. Half, huh? Uh, Jacob, what are you doing? You ever leading this card? I mean, I like the the four is a good card for us, obviously. We need good, yep. you know, all the four. So I think it's a good card to, um, you know, obviously it's a bluff, but um, yeah, I definitely built this. How uh, much? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, twenty uh, percent. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's the one thing. Um, I'm pretty certain the solver might make me a liar here, but a lot of times when we do have dom feeds, uh, these when the low card pairs here and we have it all in our range and they have none of them in theirs, this is a, 
very high lead card. We'll look at the range in a second. And then a lot of times the little rule for these leads is going to be donk leads are generally going to be small. The one caveat that might be different here is that we're just deep as ever living fuck, but usually donk leads are going to be small. Um, I'm not sure if we do it with this hand. We might want to do it with some sort of equity. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, look what happens on the four. Look at all these fucking leads. Massive amount of leads. And you can tell, like, right away, it's always small. Now, there are a few exceptions in here, uh, like your top pair that needs protection. And what else is in here? The big bet. Jack nine spades is a weird one that no one's ever going to find. Queen nine spades. I wonder what's got to do why the nine X is so important. I'm not sure. Nine, ten, no. ten, nine. Sure. Is that enough though? Like one hand in the in the range? I don't know. Uh, but really important, like when these when this small card pairs like this, look at this range, it just lights up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, maybe when it's you know such an equity shifted card, we've got to find we've got to find our dunks from someplace. So it pulls that's maybe the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't do it with this. Um it's gotta have it looks like it needs to have some sort of equity. So like eight six is a straight, seven six is a straight draw, jack six uh, flush combos. That's a pair. That's a pair. These are only spades. Ace three is a gutter. So yeah, the, the thing about it is that when the board pairs these low cards, it's a great lead card. You see it light up like Christmas tree, but you still need to have some sort of equity. So for those of you that like to take these, I love leaving these spots but the big thing is you need to have some equity you need to have a safety net in case you happen to get called you need a way to win um, and just having a king and a prayer isn't quite enough cool uh we broke this offer we're fucked All right, we're dead ggs don't lead it's bad lead this guy's got a boat <laughs> We got limpers in this Rule shit. Rule to self. Don't donk into the nuts. Don't donk into the nuts. It's, yeah, it's minus EV for sure. Donking bluffing, into bluffing into the nuts. Donking into the nuts. That's not great. Uh, this is interesting because this is going to be in the solver versus a limper, which is interesting because I think we're in this spot a lot, especially if you're in the mid-low stakes. It's like facing limpers all the time, right? Um, I think that's one of probably arguably the most common way people suck, right, is the guys who limp and limp call. Like crazy, yeah. Um, cool. So I guess do we dunk lead here, uh, Jacob? Sorry, what was that? I'm playing a few tables besides my other things. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, yep. So you would fly. Well, it, it, it limped. So the question is, is, do you lead here or do you check? I think to I just. Number? Yeah, I would. Uh... I mean, once he went, I think he's probably went through, you know, like fours, fives, sixes, sevens, stuff like that. I'd probably just check. I don't think we need much, you know, definitely don't need protection. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, and like when we limp, when we lead here, what's worse that's called? It, it looks a real sketch. Yeah. It just looks super strong. I mean, to, I think to, to just lead all of a sudden. Check call, check raise. I, yep. I think I just balance check. your folding range. <laughs> I think I just uh, I just call here. Okay. Uh, anybody out there check raising? We have any check raises out there in the group? I had raise really small, like thirty three. Yeah, we've got them very. The SPR is pretty low. I think we can. I think we can slow play a little bit. The thing is, I probably prefer thirty three because of the first draw. Well, not on that, but I like a lot of times on boards like this against when you're in the BB is uh, check raising like all its tens, its threes, and again those flush draws check raise a lot. My gut is telling me check raise. Let's find out. Yeah, maybe because there's two spades on board. It's all on it just the solver just does that a lot. It's like mm. a really common, um, common. Um, 
caveat yeah, also, metric, whatever you want to call it, on these yeah. paired boards and and flush boards both. Like on paired boards, we're like we're you're gonna see here, like we're check raising like the three X almost all of the always, uh the ten X just a ton, and then these flush draws just a ton. Are we XRing all our 10X? Yeah. Let's see. Make sure I get this right. Yep. Yeah, so look, all our tens. Um except 10 3 sometimes. Not all our threes, which is interesting. It's usually all our threes. I think this is going to be a factor of the fact that we only have 17 bigs. And then obviously plus drop. Uh let's see here. That one. Here. Uh, all of our trips, uh, under pair and second pair mixing, and then like flush draw the nuts and flush draw. Pretty common. I wonder how much this changes with our three X as we go deeper. Oh piss! You never know. It broke. Let's see if I can do it again. We'll give it one more shot. Don't let me see it. Uh, deep stack depth. No, it's broken. It's dead to me. I was wondering if um, does it just like flat or does it not check raise if we don't have a spade? Or I mean, so I know it check raise is small if we uh, have a spade in our hand, but I mean, if we don't have a spade in our hand, but does it ever call if we do? No, it was, like I, I think it was pure check raising. All it was just time. pure. Oh, I realized why it broke because he limped pre flop and he's not going to limp at deeper stacks, probably. Uh, good point. Smart. You are a gentleman and a scholar. That is for sure the reason why. Uh, here. Yeah, look, all attacks don't matter. Ten seven. Nope, that's a fucking. Oh, no. We don't have a boat yet. 10 7 up. No speed. Just check raise your tens. I also think what's really interesting in, in in practice right now, I think when you're playing against the same fields, the mid and low stake fields, I think these check raises on these paired boards are like right now, like everyone's doing it. And I think they're doing it incorrectly, which is interesting. I think um a lot of the public is just check raising any two on the 10, 10, 3, thinking you have a 10 or nothing, you never hit this board, right? Um, so you'll see a lot of these people overdoing it. I think these check raises are really common. Um yeah, I've seen that as well. Which I think is actually a kind of a good thing if you're doing it with the correct range because people are going to call too wide thinking you're like everybody else, right? Uh, but also, I guess the point is, is uh, because you should be, uh, hang on a second, uh, Giuseppe, uh, yeah, so anyways, um, when you're facing it, um, floating a little lighter might be a good strategy too. Right. Uh, why is only 1.7% call? Because you are check raising all of your trips. So every 10x, all your flush draws, uh, you're check raising, and everything else is just folding. It's a really straightforward strategy. Oh, wait, look. Oh, I guess not all your threes, just a bunch of your threes. A lot of your 3x, too. No calling range. Like, what would you be calling here, Jezeps? Uh, that's it. What's in this range that you would actually just be calling? Uh, ace high. Just straight ace high? No, best yeah. ace high. Best. Two E. Hmm. Sure. Like ace jack's got a little call in it. Even ace ten's got a straight. Yeah, ace nine just folding. So yeah, just getting out of there. And the problem is I think part of it is our, short, our stack is so short that uh, we don't really have the chips to float. Float and pray for a check on the turn. It's got no flatting strategy almost. This would change. Again, we can't go up in stack sizes because there's no links to the later stack sizes because, as Aaron pointed out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's going to have to do with stack depth for sure. Um, assuming you're checking, uh, who are we talking about? Jacob, assuming you're checking? Yeah, I checked that out. Yeah. And just calling or raising? Uh, no, nah, I just call here. Yeah, no, nah, I think we're forced to call. 
I mean, the only thing out of the back of my head, not this very likely, but he does have better tens than those two. Not that it's likely. Checking or leading? Um, I think, uh, if he did, let's see. Donk shows. Yeah, out. I think I just donk showed it here, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you floated with like, you know, any ace is probably going to call it. But... Out of curiosity, give me a hand that isn't this strong. Give me a, a single pair hand that you're donk jamming here. Single pair. Mm hmm. I mean, as you ever dunk jamming eights that you somehow got here with? You ever dunk jamming a seven? You ever dunk jamming a three? You ever dunk jamming an ace X hand? If, if the river wasn't an ace, I probably would have. You know, obviously, maybe an ace to it, but I'm saying the ace is like the more scary thing out of the whole, out of the, you know. So that's kind of my point, that, right? Like thing. for those yeah, of you guys the, that are the, dunk jamming, like, do you have a single bluff? Like, I would not fold an ace. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if the solver is going to do that, but I would fucking, yeah. I would fold ace king and a fucking heartbeat because you have yeah. zero bluffs you have zero yeah. bluffs you have zero um um single pair hands and the ace is actually better for the low jack uh, is it it's a limped pot so i guess it's weird it's not a raised pot the raised pot the ace would most certainly oh yeah he limped i forgot a better yeah. hand so i think he's probably good you know Five sixes, you know, something like that. Eight, nine, something. Like that. I mean, the key is, is like a heavy check raise flop. Now we can, we wouldn't be in the spot like this where we're forced to check, and then I think they check. Right. I, I would be really. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but I'd be really surprised if there's a donk jam here. Again, like against a thinking player, I don't sure what the solver's going to do, but again, against a thinking player, like I would snap fold an ace. I wouldn't even think twice. Snap fold it. Again, like you have no bluffs. And this it's always gonna be a flush or a 10. Like always. And the other thing too is like the problem is that the spades got there as well. So like even more folds for the Ace X when you jam it. If you were gonna donk jam, which I or donk bet, which I'm again I'm having trouble thinking that you would do, maybe, maybe. I think it would likely be something smaller. Because then you can still get called by worse, right? When we jam. You just start pushing out so much with straight with the, I'm sorry, with flushes and an ace X. Now say you bet that eight percent, you bet one and he and he stuffs it in. Are you I mean interesting? Now we're getting into that Charlie. I, 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 think, I, I think I call it. I think I call it off at point. And would go four to six. Yeah. So now we would uh be getting that Charlie Carroll like donk bet to induce. I actually think your hand's probably worth a little more. It's a little tragic if you bet one and get called. Yeah. Would, like 33, <clears throat> I guess. If if you don't, I would never don't, but if you did, I'm thinking 33. Let's find out. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yep. So definitely not jamming. Donking, okay. Uh equally be definitely donking better in percentage wise. And um, uh, it's because they're gonna check back a lot. But you always gotta remember, like, don't jam because you need to be able to get called by worse. And when you jam now. Yep. You let them play. You, perfect, you push yeah. out. Yeah, you push out everything worse. You're only going to call by something better. And I think we'll probably see that in the solver. Let's see. Let's see what the solver does if we jam. Because I know Toe's ass is gone. I'm gone and I'm clipping it for my highlight reel. Let's see. Actually, we have no jams in theory. Look at this, all this ASX mixing gold. So, yeah. Certainly. Sorry. It's like all week long with uh, work. No one's at work. Everyone's on PTO. And now today, of course, the day that I have to run the QA, phone's blowing up. I ain't done shit. Whoops. In like <laughs> like a week. <laughs> of course, Murphy's Law. When I got shit going on, everybody's looking for the tell. Oh, my God. Look at We missed out. We must out on stacking them with our 10. Sad faced. All right, JP. Or I said JP. Jacob? I don't know why I said JP. Uh, I'm probably folding this. Folding this one? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 
Do you right? Like we queen spilled it out. It was the weak kings. Good one. What about this one, Jacob? I'd be full of this too. This mm. would be the very bottom if it's a call. I think maybe it's a call. <laughs> it's a call. Yeah, so this is going to be any queen, any king, any ace. So the yeah. thing here is the thing about is like when you're this, when there's no, uh, when there's no uh, ICM involved, um, and then we have these like ace high and king highs with with this, with one blind invested and stuff, we just defend always because this way, when you hit a king, you can just go broke. You know, when we're 80 bigs deep or 100 bigs deep and you hit a king with a hand like this, you don't really want to go broke, right? You're, you're always beat. Yeah. Right? We have 11 bigs, hit top pair, run that shit. Yeah, see, uh, not all queens, surprising. I thought it was going to be all queens, a lot of queens. And I don't know why queen eight is, the solver just hates queen eight with a passion. The fuck? <laughs> it's so weird. It's odd that it picks like it. I mean, it's I'm sure be, that this, what's it like on block eights or something? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's but it's like effect. yeah, it's because they're worse. Odd that it picks nine. up these. Yeah, sometimes it just picks up. Like it seems like it's random, but I'm sure you know. I, I know there's a reason behind it. <clears throat> cool. I don't know, those hands always see. I know the solver says that, but those hands always get me. It seems like they get me in trouble. I know we're super shallow, but it just seems like. Uh, yeah, I think in general they will get you in trouble. Um, that's what I mean. Once you're shallow, it don't don't matter anymore. Yeah, I get. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I guess you just. Go, I mean, are you still gonna go with it now? You like with it? I guess you still go with it, right? Pretty much. Three, five, four, five, I don't know. Pretty much. Yeah, he's pretty gonna call impressive. probably pretty much any. Now the question is: Is check raise or check call? That's where it's weird. Oh, it's like a call. Call per set hands. Call 100% with yeah, Jezips. Yeah, I think I'm just, just, just calling. Call for Greg. Everyone's calling. Like, God. The problem with call is like, we are just closed on so many turns. Yeah, like another Ten, Broadway card. Jack, or spade. Yeah, ace, yeah. queen, spade, nine, 10. Ay, 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 ay. Part of me wants to go 33 and jam turns. Uh, yeah, jam any non speed, non Broadway. No, don't be, don't be spazzy, Joe. Don't be spazzy. <laughs> Let's see. Holding yet. Raising now. Oh, dear. I mean, at this point, I think you just go with it. Does it 100% call again? Is that how you're going with it? All in. Yeah. Right. What's changed between now and the flop? Just uh, mostly that uh, you don't want him uh, and uh, a turn uh, all in is strong. <laughs> ah, you're trying to do. You're trying to. Uh, it's a rep strength. <laughs> <laughs> now there's no king we beat. I mean, arguably he's not opening king three anyways. There Aaron, from the from the hood jack. <laughs> we don't beat king deuce. We don't beat king three. <laughs> uh god i i would say it's probably call because again ugh, excuse me jamming we have to be able to get called by worse well the problem Our, is another spade comes you're gonna lose the like you know any spade you know maybe you don't want to yeah. get down <laughs> well, that's true that's true pretty sure it's gonna call let's see yeah mostly call let's call it see what happens You going with the weird blocker in the solver land or uh, check and praying for a check back? I'm going to check and pay for a check back. Check and pray. Uh, no. Nope. So what you want to do here is like, again, like always ask yourself these questions, right? Are you betting for value? You're betting as a bluff. You're betting as a bluff. What's better that's going to fold? You're betting for value. What's worse that's going to call? And uh, as simple as that sounds from a 10,000 foot view, a lot of times in these poker spots, that is going to get you the right answer. And on the flop, we don't want to check raise because we can't get called by worse. We fold out queen X, we fold out single spades, and we only get called by better kings, right? 
On the turn, same type of thing. You don't really want to jam because you can't ever get called by worse. You're just going to run right into the flush or a better cane. And then on the river, we don't want to check because we don't want them to triple up bluff us. So we just cut off the little blocker. They shouldn't be able to raise. You have way more straights and two pairs and flushes in your range, and you should get a pretty honest response. So you block with the one. And if you're thinking about it along those lines, it, it kind of makes sense, right? The, the thought process makes sense. Because, like, now what do we do? Which one is call? I think the solver's going to call. I think it's really interesting in, in reality. We shouldn't get here this way. Hang on, someone's got their... Uh... Oh, it was you. It was you, Jacob. I had to mute you because of your TV. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I think we can call by plenty for that size. That's worse, like pocket pairs and queens. Uh, I think you're foolish if you call with pocket pairs or queens. You're just never winning. Against the 1.5 1. 5 lead? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Against the 1.5 lead, you get called by worse for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the jams. My bad. Oh, yeah. My bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do here. Uh, fuck. I'd be committed In to practice, one, I hate triple barrels. People... Uh, I talk about this a lot. I had a buddy who ran a hand -to note scan on a 2 million hand database, and he always sticks in my head, and it, it usually holds true in practice if, you, if you're paying attention, where like people who triple in position are usually bluffing. I think the number was something around 14% of the time, and people out of position tripling out of bluff was like 9% of the time. And so the moral of that story is, is people just don't fucking triple as bluffs very much in general. And so this would have me shook. The other part of that coin is I think we're just fucking committed. We got top pair and no chips. Tough. Super tough. Uh, that's why the block is so good. Um, question is, is I'm going to look that up too. If we do block and he jams, then what? We Rough. Yeah, he's just too pot committed. If that's the case, then I bet if we bet and they jam, we're still pot committed. Wait, what? What happened here? Oh, no, no. We block. They jam. Well, look, Kings makes a fold. Not this one. Oh, wait, that's two pair. Oh, we don't have two pair. Cool, cool. Uh, King four still calls, though. Weird. King four, but not your better kings. King four, you, you unblock the... I don't know why I prefer king four to king six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, super weird, right? I'm not sure why that is either. Cool. Uh, sticky spot. A lot of good uh, talk about here. Like, uh, a lot of good conversations here, though, right? About when to jam, when not to jam, and a little blocker, but I think that's great. Uh, block the nuts is ace four. I think that was a balance thing, Aaron. Did it block ace four? I don't remember. Yeah, no, I was just saying the four and the king four blocks the nuts, which is why we call. I just didn't see the board, whether a four did make the nuts or not. King four blocks the nuts. I guess so. I think because Seems king like a stretch. four blocks the, the straight. Yeah, that's what Aaron's saying. Yeah. Well, I guess the straight isn't the knots, but for six big blinds, it is. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Let's switch it up, Mike. Sorry, I'm on my phone. Uh, what are we just doing? Big blind defend? Yep. Uh, call. Yeah, you're playing poker already. It's like the crack of fucking dawn. What the hell is running right now? Everything. One, it's 1.30 p.m. My time. I don't start regging for like... Three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, it's one o'clock your time. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that means mean the schedule changed. It's not like this. It's not like TV where you get to watch your shows early. <laughs> uh, I cool. Uh, what are you doing here? Call. Call. Cool. Yeah, these gappers always call them. Yeah, you got, uh, easy, you got an easy one. Bold. Three, three, oh. 
Um, uh, I'm calling queen four here. I'm not going to three. So I'm going to say this is a fold. Especially this deep because it's now just. I have to check you because I would probably have folded both. So let's see if you're cheating or not. See if you have GTO wizard up while you're playing. Hey, there's a spec. He's not cheating. He's human. Ooh, what's your calling range look like, Mike? Uh, it's prob my calling range is probably too tight. I'm probably <sighs> King Ten suit is going to be in there. I'm probably folding Queen Ten suited and Jack Ten suited, but that's probably going to be in there. Um, all pairs, King Jacko, Ace Eight O plus. Maybe it's wider. Maybe it's Ace Seven O plus. Um, probably like Ace Four suited plus. That's probably it's, my coin range is probably a little tighter than. Sounds kind of close. Folding an ace seems, yeah, yeah. Folding an ace seems wild. Uh, wow, look at this king five suited. What the fuck? I mean, I am for sure missing like all of this and this, and then seeing these and knowing that I probably have to call and hate doing it, and then marking it and checking it after a session. <laughs> uh, king nine zero, so like pretty much all paint. Basically, yeah. all pain suited nines and a hell of a lot of suit kings. Uh, could you look at the button shoving range? Sure. It's all purple. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no. Uh... Oh, it's 10 bigs. That's why there's no min raise. Correct. The call. For a good amount of EV. Tough. Take your 40 60. All right, Mike. Uh call. Let's gap or are those uh connectors always? Imagine you are going to check all right. Call. Just calling. 25% raise. That's it. No need for any of that. Uh, GG's. Uh, four or five with a spade, Aaron. Is that your question? Yeah, I was thinking. I don't think so. I was Generally, thinking to check race this. This is going to but... be like ace two, ace four with this ace of spades. Uh, your spade flush draws, especially the ones with an over, and then um, it's kind of be kind of it because usually you're not going to turn the pair into a bluff. Usually when you have a pair, those check raises now disappear. So where is it? Yeah, I see like a fives. Oh, There's a little bit with like five, six. Oh, that's spades only though. And what's five, four offsuit doing down five, there? Four offsuit, spades only. That's suited. Oh, five, four offsuit, yeah. spade mostly. Occasionally. Okay. And then what I was saying, ace three, ace, ace two, ace four. Yeah, see with a spade. Those are the common. Yeah. Ones. Those are the higher common frequency ones. for by far. And then look at these, ace six, seven with a spade two, because they can hit backdoor straights. Yeah, and the proper uh, straight draws, mm -hmm. even the gut shots. Okay, cool. Okay, we're set. Combo draws, all your combo draws. Most of your open end straight. Which I might miss thinking I have too much equity. Cool. Uh, Mike Shack folding. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. That size. Got an easy one. All right, Mike, what about this one? Uh, this is holding. This is, hmm. I think this is calling, but I think this is. Marginal this deep person of the gun, but I think it's it's in there. Nah, you're right. Mostly golden. I think this one's one like people are gonna over 
call too much in general. For yeah, sure. I'd probably overcall that. I believe it's a beer goggles hand. Yeah, she looks pretty until uh, you take her home and <laughs> you wake up the next morning. You're like, why did I do that? <laughs> Uh, check the dresser, <laughs> fold to the sea bed. Cool. Six three at twenty. I'm folding this. Ooh. Oh, zero EV though. How to fold two? Oh God, I don't remember. It was like my first somewhere in my first two or three dates with my wife and we had a home game at the time me and my roommates and i don't remember exactly the action but it was ridiculous raise and i re-raised and she called and i bet and she called and i jammed and she called and she had 630 and then spiked some i think it was a straight on the river or something and she's like you know i called because i knew it was going to come you know she called, called you out of spite no, she knew she knew the straight was coming. That's literally what she said. I remember I was so angry. I had to like gently walk out of the room. <laughs> Check myself and come back. And uh if you say if you talk about 630 to my wife to this day, we've been married 20 years. <laughs> uh she'll know what that means to this day. Fucking 630. Uh yeah, man. I would miss these for sure. We don't need those. I don't think we need those either. They're fucking trash. Well, I would miss those for sure. Admittedly, I don't do well with these ones either. I overfold these ones too. I feel like 10 7 is fine though, because like got a little bit more board coverage. You can make it straight. Like you you do have some top pair equity when you when you hit top pair. So it's like 6 3 0 is just has no utility, right? It's just like well, not if you hit a pair, right? But you got other other ways. Ah, uh, this we have to call. You say call? Yeah. Sucks, but yeah, we looked at the spot a lot. Check it owned. Oh, check check. Uh oh. Uh what is he check? I don't think we can bet this. This sucks. Um, I think this is too good to bet. We don't have any equity, and it's like still has some showdown, even though it doesn't really. I think we just have to check. Interesting. Anybody leading this card? Yeah, I think here you can start to lead when you check back uh, on this board and uh, go uh, something like uh, fifty-five. <laughs> All right, so we have 10. We are uh, 33. I can always count on my Canadian friends. Aaron, you leading? Another Canadian friend. I think I'd want something like a four or five, an eight or a nine or something to be leading here. Or, of course, the seven. But So I was talking pairs. about this earlier, and I realize I'm going to go against myself when I say this because I'm going to be that guy. But, like, I would not be able to control my body. And I would lead here for, like, 1.8. Like, 100% of the time. My theory is that I don't believe we have shit on value. And this motherfucker's cap is yeah. Pro, pro, the problem is we block his block. So first of all, at this depth, they're gonna he's gonna have a lot of uh uh made hands that yeah, check. Equity. Um and we block his folds. Like if he has king, we're blocking king ten, king queen, you know, we're blocking that stuff. So it's like if we I'd rather bet like Jack two suited here than with no draw than this end. Uh, again, yeah, not Jack T suited. None of that. You got to It's all about the equity. It is all about the equity. What's interesting too is that it's a lead that is actually a lot of big betting, which is something you don't see very often. Yeah, you can't... earlier where our lead is usually going to be small bet sizes. Um, especially when we're short. So I find that really interesting. I guess he shouldn't have any sevens in this limping range, right? Uh, race pre, I believe. Oh. Yeah, race I pre. I think the, pro oh, okay. the problem with the board, well, even less the board pairs, like he can't fold out. If you bet small here, 
-hmm. you can't hold out ace high on a on a paired board because there's so much of nothing. So you have to be pol you have to be polarized because there's no draws. I mean, like I guess there's a couple of draws there. Well, I'm no telling you right now, like I'm bet jamming. <laughs> so like this hand is over. <laughs> Solver hates it. So there's an asterisk here. But I wouldn't be able to control my body at 10 7 3. This dude checks. Like people are going to play so face up, I think. I, way more well, face I, up. I, than also think if he's, I do think population is probably playing more. Like, I don't know. What is this? Like 10 big blinds effective? That was the, that was the, the starting stacks. Yeah. And they open pre. This is, I mean, yeah, this is, this is a weird. So I think that might be the problem too is like what range min raises on 10 bigs or 12 bigs pre from under Even the gun one. So maybe right. that's the problem. If we move the position over to like a, a later position open, yeah, that's the problem. This is the problem right here. It says you don't even have tens. Too fucking strong. Too fucking strong. So what is this? Ten seven three seven. Um. All right. So what if the what if the open came from like here? It was what ten seven three. Check, check, turns a seven, right? Yeah, good enough. King two O. Oh. Yeah, still not the King Two. You still just need the equity. Oh, weird how much less there are dog leads on this run out for whatever reason. Hijack does have offsuit tens there. That checks flop. Actually, I don't know about that one, but they do have them in their starting range at least. Yeah, so it's just it's got to be late position. This is button, a lot more. And even King Deuce starting to creep in there, not really, but a little bit. Um, that's the fact that it's really open. Okay, fair enough. Folding, right? Someone said showdown value. Does that mean you're calling? Who are we working yeah, with? Mike? No, no, not with this. I would have got. We had showdown. We did, but we didn't get to realize it. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's the problem. Mike? Uh, Call. Yeah, this is what I would miss for sure. Sure, checking. Yeah, I'm sure you're folding to the C bets. Check for uh, what does the blind call range look like here? Because I am too tight. Even at a hundred against the button, just calling all this shit. Wait, wait, wait. This is when my knit comes out. What do you think, Mike? Um, folding. We just look at that's like queen. Uh, ugh. last one. Um, I'm for I'm folding this in game. You think the solver's calling? No, no, not from hijack. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think it's gonna be a similar range, like all pairs, right? Calling all pairs. Um, I think it lops off twos and threes. Uh, a six. A six. A nine. Oh, two days. Ace. Five suited. Suited paint. King Jack suited. And offsuit paint. King Queen-O. Sounds pretty close. Uh, You said ace five suited, so a little tight. Uh, you were really close here. All pairs, really close. 
you said King Jack, so also the pain. Again, like these are the spots where I have so much trouble calling with this stuff. So much trouble. All right, who could pick up next? Uh, Aaron, you want to roll at it? Yeah, sure. We'll yeah. call it off. Calling up this one? Uh, all right, what's the range look like? Actually, it's probably the same, right? We just did this one. I won't make this go through the exercise. This is weird because uh, it's under the gun. Yeah. Oh, and it's the wrong. Pop myself right at the buzzer. Ace 10 off and better? Ace Jack? Yeah, Ace 10. You okay. Pit One pit ball. Not too bad. Mostly because it's an under the gun jam. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Excuse me. This will be a defend, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of raising it, but no. He went Canadian on us. I like to look, uh, raise my like low off suit. Like you see that shit with like yeah, you see that shit with like here yeah, the king X more. Like not this is too trashy. A bit off the map, yeah. Too trashy. But we're still oh, going here. Here it's still just calling. Ah, uh, oh well. I think we have almost no raising range. Do you ever call? Oh man! All right, uh, are you uh, checking? Oh, I was gonna, I should ask yeah. about the lead. Uh, it's close. Two, three, four. Yeah. Three, four, five. Those ones are in the lead. Oh, big, oh bet you. big bet on you, man. This this trips me up in game. Depending on what I think about the guy, I'd be tempted just to check Jam and see what he does. Yeah. What are you doing here? Here, the Jack means nothing. There's no showdown value. The small raised really doesn't make that much sense. So we'll go full fish and check Jam. Full fish. <laughs> Uh yeah, um uh, I am not hundred percent sure what the solver is gonna do here. Um generally the bigger the bet, the less we check raise. So that's kind of making me lean call here because he sized up. I'm gonna have to get some caffeine after this hand. Ugh. Um so I would probably lean call because of the bet size, but great seems okay. I don't know that we jam. Can we get better to fold? Sure. But I'm not sure that like a hand like King Queen or Queen Jack or Jack 10 puts this bet size out on this board. Well, one thing I noted one time was in general on polarized boards with wide ranges, it uses its lowest offsuit crap to balance its big bet range. I could be wrong. I only noted that one time looking sure. at stuff. But if it did... That means it could have some hands that beat us that aren't calling. Let's go full fish. Fuck it. Uh, I would call. Let's find out. I'll just rip it. All right. All right. Full fish for the win. Nice. Swordfish this time. Swordfish this time. <laughs> uh, what the fuck did we have? Jack four. Oh, so it's actually a little bit of an island. Um, and the fact that we block two of the back doors. Because if you look here, look. All yeah. this 4X calling. This is a pair in a straight draw. This is a pair in a straight draw. This is a pair in a straight draw. But the bear 4X. Mostly calling. 7-4 a caveat. Okay. So I was right about the big bet size. It's just that this hand... You found the island. Just happened to find it. You found the island. And dead. I go, give me, um, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. I'm going to the kitchen and uh, grab some caffeine. I'll be right back.
So I bumped into my wife and had to make out for a second. Gotta make sure you uh, <laughs> gotta make sure you do that. Keep the marriage healthy, especially when I'm about to sit in here for the next twelve hours and play poker. Throw my little uh, blanket on because it's West Coast cold. I'm in Florida. It's cold here too, man. Yeah, I would have to say uh, West Coast cold, right? Because you know, again, guys like poor Setabs, you live in the snow, right? We do the snow. I live in the snow. He says, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool there. It's, it's cold, like... but it's cold. It's you know, like I said, West Coast cold. It's like in the mid forties. I don't know what that is in Celsius. You're lucky. Me, me. It's the minus forty. <laughs> Forty. He said minus degree, like no, six no, degrees it's... Celsius." It's like uh, now, right now, oh. I have it right there. It's my, it's minus six, seven degrees, right now. Uh, minus eight. Jesus Christ. Um, my wife and I are thinking about moving to Montana, where she is from, and where she is from happens to be one of the coldest places in the country. I don't think it's the coldest, but one of the closest uh, coldest. And so my sister in law was posting. This is a little while back, but she was posting um, that it was like, I think it was like minus 30 or something crazy cold. Um, and then so I Googled it and it was like only minus 15 in the North Pole. And it was like minus 10 in Antarctica. And they were like 20 degrees colder than the North Pole in Antarctica. Huh. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Uh, who do we have here? We had Aaron. Yeah, we'll call and see what happens. Yeah. Leading? Huh. You know, I don't have enough leading in my game, but mm. a vulnerable seven with extra equity with the straight draw block and the everything else. Sure, why not? Let's leap for two. Hey. Fuck it. Full fish. That's my new favorite uh, descriptor, <laughs> by the way. I'm I'm stealing that. Um, I, I will I will give you uh, full credit every time I use it. <laughs> um, yeah, so be careful because I'm pretty sure this doesn't lead. It was a little bit of a trap by uh, by me here. Usually, and I could be wrong. We'll see. But usually, it's going to be three connected cards. So I know I realize we have a five, but in general, five, six, seven, four, five, six, three, four, five. Those are the boards we're going to lead more. And you, usually, when there's a gap, we lead a lot less. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, so like no fucking leading, right? But if we change the set, the three to a five. Ooh, still no leading. Interesting. Huh. So it's got to be under seven in this instance. Okay. Should be top in. But look, it's got to be three in a row. Cool. Uh, we lead and break the solver. And this is where things get weird. What do you think, Aaron? Well, at this point... Got all these fucking bet sizes. Jesus Christ. Huh. I mean, he would have some flush draws and we're not really blocking his flush draws with five but i think i'd just be checking colin hoping to get the showdown mm. yeah it gets really weird here because now he can potentially like if he bets eight we're not folding probably but in hell and then jams river no matter the card Eek. hell All right hell oh we didn't break the solver so this is good. Just bet again. Uh, bet, bet. If you're going to bet and don't get owned and give up on it. Let's see what happens if we do uh, a thing like this size, right? I'm just curious to see what it does on the river. Oh, man. Ugh. Blocker. Um, yay, yay. No, oh, just, just check Spazzy McGee. All right, hang on. Hang on. Now I got to go on this route. So I stole this hand from you, Aaron, because it got interesting and I lost, my, I lost control of my body. Uh, if that nine's a brick. 
So if it was like the nine of clubs, it was more bricky. Do we fire again with seven five out? Yeah, blocker again. So if the spades don't continue, because he's got so many spades when he calls Bob Colster. So you can go bet small, bet small, bet small, basically. Um, in a spot, I guess, if you're going to bet Aaron. But uh, yeah. mostly we want this to be connected. Oh, what time is it? few more and then we will wrap it for the day. Ooh, dead. All right, this one has to defend, I think. It's probably bottom range though. Maybe even a mix. Yeah. Oh, I would be folding that news. Yeah. And you would have been right. I'm doing my check for. I mean, I honestly, I overfold that too. Oh, it already makes, it makes me feel bad. Not so bad. My problem is that I'm probably folding Jack Six as well. Um, so still too tight for me. And I uh, honestly would be folding probably this stuff too. So I got to get better at this bottom ring shit. Learned about the lead. Oh, what the solver? Uh oh. But now Aaron. Huh. In real life, I would check raise this just because I know people are betting way too wide here. Here, I guess I'll just call and see what happens. Because yeah, I don't I imagine know. the solver is just going to massively overfold to a raise. So what we the broke hell? the solver. It's a small bet, but like, we're definitely not folding a pair. Uh oh. Now we're probably going to there. Huh. <laughs> it's going to be weird because we're out of solving. I, I would call it because the bet size is so small. It's non-committal. I mean, we're against a robot, but in real life, that would be my thinking. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go into the AI and have to build this hand all the way over again. Um, I think we're probably folding this guy double barrel twice. I God, you have no way to win, no way to improve. I would recommend well, unless he's just firing garbage and gonna give up on the river. Sure. Which I can only trust my player pool to do. And here sure. we're jamming. All in. Ooh. Oh, what do you mean God. there's no way to win? You're we turning a piece into a bluff. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, God. The problem is, is like most donkeys are gonna be small. They're kind of like it's like. You're trying if you're jamming, you're trying to get an ace to fold. It's kind of hard. Um, I suppose you can get like God, are you ever getting kings and queens and jacks to fucking fold? But I'm imagining we're betting small to get his air to fold. Good, but we beat his air. It's time for a block air bill. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. We're broke the solver though. So we can yes. do it, we can do whatever we want and not get dinged. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're not even getting a six to fold. <laughs> this guy, uh, this guy's got notes on you, Aaron. <laughs> He's I guess so. <laughs> notes I lost you on rivers. Oh, that's funny. That this guy funny. is a punter. So I have to call. Yeah, he has got a note on you. Said, "Has be careful." <laughs> all right uh easy to defend unless you're switching over drugs do you have a mic oh drugs says he usually lurks in these things no mic um you want to do it in chat i've actually gone to everybody else but you you're the lone lurker all right what you doing Depending. Wow, I was actually really surprised to see 60% fold. I thought this was a pure thing. So now I gotta look at the chart real quick. Ooh, eh, it's just the one, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Grab the check folding. I know this because I've been studying with jugs for 15 some years, maybe 12 years. Uh, same fucking spot drugs. It gets their calling. <laughs> same fucking answer drugs. <laughs> Ooh, different flop though. No, uh, check to the grass room. Sure. Can you fold for two? Call that size. I agree. I think we're calling any pair for two. It's not a lead card. Drugs is too good to trick him that way. Check, check. Now what are you doing? Well, while Drugs is, is um, typing, fun story about him is he was on a team that I joined uh, much later than him. He was on the team a lot longer than me. And they were doing a hand history review before I had joined the team. And this is years ago. And they were doing a hand history review before I, I uh, he text, uh, joined the team. And it happened to be a hand that I was in. And I don't remember the exact thing, but I think I had like trip aces, but I had a deuce kicker or something. And I called in this crazy bet and it was obvious that the guy had better ASEX and they were making fun of me. And then I joined the team like a week later. And then there's a video that he made making fun of me right before I <laughs> joined the team. Uh, check good. Uh-oh, tough spot. Penny call. Fold. Ooh. 50 50. Call or call with uh, losing a little bit of EV or fold. Yeah, if I can't believe this is that close because you checked the flop, right? Is A size have been in the turn a lot? You can't check drugs, though. Can't check drugs. Give me the walk here. I'm sure you're calling. Pick up the gutter. I'm sure you're checking. Call with the gutter. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how it's calling? Mmm, some raise. Oh, God. Do we raise the gutter with no spade? Or are you? I hate the spots. I, I think I would call thinking we don't fold gutters very much. But man, do I hate the spot. Um, let's see if we can raise the spots. We definitely use the flush draw to raise uh, for sure. Cool. Uh, what do we have? So it's going to be Jack X. All right, see a lot of the Jack X cool, a lot of the Jack X cool uh, flushes, draws, not so much the flush draw. Super surprising. And that's because we're too shallow to check raise. Okay. And then what was this hand? 760? Yeah, just pretty fun. Cool. Mix, he mixes a lot of fold um, if you don't have the spade here. That's good to see. We're just too short to continue. All right, four more hands. Uh, four more hands that count. Let's give me four fucking walks. Oh. Anything suited, drugs? Anything suited? I'm just checking. Check, check. Interesting turn. Why well, we don't have bet options? Oh, well, there we go. Leading or checking drugs? Probably checks. Um, I like some of you guys out here are leading. Anybody out here leading? Aaron, you're leading. Sad you're leading. No, maybe. Uh, I, can't, I can't see it. No. Okay. 
But uh, we have second pair, so I think there's a lot of check we still have to do. Yep. Uh, Shall I buy you on turn? No bluff. Can't get called by worse. Uh, can't imagine we're folding. No. Can't imagine we're raising. This one pretty easy, right? Yeah. It's a call. Everything else is a bluff. Yeah, the size is kind of shitty, for sure. I can't imagine you're blocking. I can't imagine you're doing anything but check. Maybe there's some block, but I'll check. Yeah, check. And welcome to the hell that is drugs life right now. Hell, you with the hell the chat. We hang out too much. Me and me and drugs. We're uh, we're very close to the same person in a lot of ways. <laughs> I took out the river, I think. You should have some queen in this range. So, uh, mostly I have a misdraw. Yeah. You get this uh, king on the river, but uh, you have to make the call anyway. Sure, sure. Talks me to call only 25% of the win. Yeah, it does feel like it was, I would call and lose and just say, yeah, I know I'm losing here like a ton. Call. Lose. See, that this is real life. This is perfect. All right, last hand. I'm just calling. Calling. Check. Give it up. Right, let's find a hand that actually means something. Can't just end it on some bullsh bullshit. Uh, I picked close spots, I swear. This is a limp. Real life, leading here, drugs in a limp spot. No leads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. We have shut on value, right? I can't imagine we're folding. Drugs are calling, right? I'm assuming. Being high versus button on this board. Raising. Uh, raising 32. Mm, it says feels close. Set don't give a fuck. He's raising. Because you got an ace or a pair or nothing, homie. The problem here with the raise there, said is that, like, you probably don't have any pairs. And I would argue you probably don't have a ton of ace X either. What did you jam a lot of pairs proof off? Right that's there? what I'm saying. Yeah, that's totally what I'm saying, Jacob. I agree. It took me like four tries to realize it says, Are you hungry? That's a funny screen name. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow. Uh, Sedhaps. Sedhaps finds what happened. Check, bet 33. We're in the big blind. Come on, what happened here? Check, bet 33. Look at this. I would be pure calling with this spot, but look at this, that happens. I'm doing well, man. Uh, I, I feel bad. You caught us like literally at the last hand of the session. Um, we've been here for a couple hours. Uh, but these things are every Thursday starting at noon Eastern. Um, usually led by, by Crazy Sixes. I'm filling in for him, but we switch off a little bit, but yeah. Um, the good news is, is, too, if you want to watch this one from the beginning, they're all recorded and put in the study groups room. This is for all the six free study groups that are instructor-led and two member ones that are led. Um, they're recorded and put in the study groups, too. So if you ever want to go back and watch it, you can uh, timestamp it, ask a question. Um, look at this, like, no flatting image. So it's almost like a 10-10 X board, there was not much calling. Yeah, yeah, like this is surprising to me. No calling range. Just like I would probably be calling all of this stuff here. Man, I am griefing this spot. Uh this close close to top of range. Drugs didn't give an answer. We're gonna make that a call. Look at this raising range though. We gotta go to the set have school to fuck you. You ain't got shit, son. <laughs> Face a double? What row? Garen no. held drugs. 
اهلا 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 No jams that happens. Don't be crazy. The problem here is like, I guess you can get better to fold. I guess you can get at least to fold, I guess. The problem is, is like we said here, uh, pre-flop, like uh, Jacob was saying as well. That card too, too low to make it move like this. Button call. Oh, this was a limped pot. I forgot about that. So we have less, uh, we don't have any of these pairs and we don't have a lot of base X. We have some base X. But all these pairs are raising too. Like we don't have any of this. So we have no boats, basically. All right, cool. Um, let's wrap it here. Cool. Uh final thoughts for anybody. Um, some caveats I picked up too was like definitely the lower we get, the more we're defending those king deuce off, queen deuce off, right? Um, we saw a lot of that. On um, the check raise boards, we saw a lot of that on the paired boards. You're check raising your trips a lot. You're check raising the, the other card. If it's like 10, 10, 3, check raising your three a lot. Um, and then your flush draws when it's two tilt. We saw that a lot, a lot, a lot. Those were good ones. Um, we learned about the donk leading. Usually that's only going to be on three connected boards. What else am I missing? Anybody got anything else of these uh awesome little nuggets we picked up today? I think uh you 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 don't have some done don't uh, much uh, don't lead uh, <laughs> from the blinds which I will have some uh, when they quickly shift but I feel like they, there's far less than I thought it was yeah we saw that a lot on the like king seven four turn four right uh we're leading that card a fucking ton when the board pair is one of those smaller cards. We're in the big line and we have it. So if you know, don't don't do that. Like if it's low jack versus cutoff, for example, and it's 10 and 7, 4, turn 4, you're not gonna lead that four anymore because when it's low jack or cutoff, you don't have the four in your range. So you gotta make sure you have the, the card that pairs in your range. Um and leads are generally gonna be small. We saw that one little um random hand, but um leads are generally gonna be small. And the key to that is we can't just lead range on those boards, we have to have some sort of equity. So that when we get called, we have a safety net, right? We have a way to win um, the times we get called. So that was a good one, too. Missing anything else? Lots of studio and big lines, probably. Crickets. All right, guys, this was fun. Uh, I hope you had a good time. Um, yeah. Like I said, I think most of you guys are regs, but for all you hungry, these things are every Thursday. There's also a Monday, Wednesday, Friday one led by Luis. And uh, this one Thursday, cash game group on Tuesdays. Um, so check all of that stuff out. And about, like I'll always, um, you know, let JL, let the coach crew know that you uh, join these and you find value in them because it uh, helps us. It helps us help you. Help me help you, man. And uh, everyone's happy. <laughs> so cool. I'll get this uh, recording into the uh, in a little bit. I'm going to go take a five second break and have this thing processed and then I'll throw it in there so you guys can see the videos. Yeah, good session. And uh, I, I won't do. see you. Well, I'm probably streaming tonight. Um, definitely streaming tomorrow. But if you're not following me on the stream streets, then have a happy new year. Be safe. And we'll see you on the other side of uh, 2024. Peace. Peace. Bye. Mm.